Tra uh, Travis says, Dr. Iran, can the Israelites show up genetic as more than one Y DNA haplogroup? Yeah, absolutely. They're quite diverse. Uh, we've seen T, we've seen J's, we've seen CT's, we've seen E1. So I'm getting a lot of emails from um, African community asking if they're related to the ancient Israelites. I think possibly. They are mm. ancient Israelites with the E1 uh, and other letters and numbers uh, in the data set. Uh, and yep. like I showed you with the Viking person, this test will answer this question as well. So I've been getting those questions for years, <laughs> well, but well, I could never answer. There were not, there were no ancient DNA samples, but now actually there are. You know what I wanted to tell you? In 2009, when I got into, I finished my PhD, I started postdoc at School of uh, Medicine, Johns Hopkins, and I wanted to work on the ancient uh, Israelite because there were so many studies about Jews. They told me, mm -hmm. you, you can't, there are no studies. Like, then how come you're studying Jews? How do you link them to the, uh, to the land of Israel and whatnot? And then I read this study and I was like, it's all deception. <laughs> there were no ancient Israelites. How can you possibly say anything about a modern group without an ancient reference group that you're telling me and hear how we prove they're connected. No, they're not. This is bullshit. <laughs> and, and this is what my work studies. You can compare them to the closest possible reference groups. Yes, but we again need to pretend those groups did not change for thousands of years, which is I'm fine with pretending that. But the way those studies were done, they never compared them to group from uh, the Caucasus and, and the Khazaria boundaries. They always compared them with the group where they wanted to see the highest similarity, in this case, Palestinians and Bedouins. So when you look at Jews and you compare them to Palestinians and Bedouins and to the other reference, which for some reason was uh, uh, English, they came up closer to the, the Middle Eastern ones. Mm. Hence the conclusion, Jews are from the Middle East. Like, no. You're asking, you're framing the question according to the answer you want to get. Now add the actual groups from the Caucasus. You'll see how all the Jews are going to the Caucasus.